Alright, lights, camera, action. What is up, guys? This light is way too harsh. Is that any better? What is up, guys? It's Alex. It's your boy here from a long time ago. I mean, not that long, but long enough. And I'm, I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't able to uh, stick to my promise of uh, doing weekly vlog over the summer, but um, let's just say it's been busy. Being busy means that you gotta give priority to certain things, and that's what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, these past few days have just been so busy, and just an emotional roller coaster for me, personally. Um, so last Thursday, I uh, went to the closing ceremony, the final closing ceremony of my elementary school back in uh, back in Mississauga called St. Gertrude and uh, just thinking about all the awesome memories I had I walked through the uh, the halls and, and everything just felt so much smaller um, it was just such a weird feeling like walking through the halls going to the classrooms and and the school gym and everything it was just it was such a such a different perspective and I, it really got to me and you know, the, uh, we had a barbecue after and I got to see old friends of mine and, and just reconnect and that was such a nice time. It's just so bittersweet um, to see that place go as a school. Um, it was honestly the best years of, of my childhood and just enjoyed every year being there. I was able to go to that school from start to finish, graduated in 2010 and uh, yeah, so moved shortly after that but um, yeah, it was just such a bittersweet thing. And, and the teachers all said they fought super hard to keep it, but it was just a leadership thing, I guess. Um, and someone just wanted to have their way, so. Things change, people change. Change is hard for me, it's always been hard for me to accept and, and just move on. So yeah, it's been me on Thursday. And then yesterday, Friday, um, I got to be a groomsman for the first time ever for my friend's wedding. One of my best friends from from high school and from growing up. It was just an all-around awesome day. The venue is so sweet. I just backed out into the the uh, Kempenfelt Bay is so sweet. The weather was amazing. It held out when it needed to. And um, just a, a sweet day uh, to be with friends and to catch up on people we haven't seen in a while. Weddings are pretty sweet to be in. Yeah, so that's been me. Uh, crazy for a few days. Um, so just trying to get over that emotional roller coaster, so to speak. But um, yeah, it's been good. I always say June's the best month, um, and to this day it's still proven to be the best month ever. So I turned 21, and uh, for my 21st birthday, I got to spend it no better than at a Christian songwriters conference with my good friend Will Walker. Um, we just spent the whole day in Markham, um, just being blessed and uh, being equipped uh, to write amazing songs uh, for churches. And so that was an awesome day, uh, just being able to be poured into and learn a lot get some experience in that field and uh, just try to get better at songwriting. So I turned 21 and uh, I guess I wanted to do a video or have kind of some some aspirations or goals so to speak uh, for my 21st year of life. Um, definitely the first one off the list is uh, to get fit. I've uh, been really slacking on my fitness and uh, it's been kind of obvious to my body <laughs> as a uh, can, it can feel the, the weight already of being in the 20s. And so yeah, I uh, gotta get fit. Um, so, got a gym membership. Uh, it's all good, it's just getting there. <laughs> the motivation to go there. So, if you guys wanna keep me accountable, please do, because I definitely need all the motivation I can to, uh, to continue to do that. Um, I want to travel more, um, as always. I want to try different places this time. Um, I've been to Chicago four times now. And I kind of want to do something else and uh, travel around and see what that leads to. So travel more for sure is another one. Um, and for sure there will be videos for that uh, if and when it does happen. Another thing is I really want to um, start being more aggressive in my uh, writing. Uh, just like outputting. I have in mind to start uh, a book. Uh, to write a book. Um, still don't know. I still want to narrow down the topic. I have a couple ideas, but um, they might just spur into other ideas. So it's another thing. Um, yeah, another big thing, uh, maybe not for my 21st year, but uh, for the future, is to open up a coffee shop. Um, that's been kind of a little bit on my heart for the past few months. Um, and uh, just seeing little bits and ways of how that can work. 
Um, there's obviously so much that needs to go into it. Um, there's the whole design process, there's a whole finding the location process, there's everything from start to finish. Um, finding the funding, so many things that go into it. So, um, we'll see about that. And uh, It's an idea that started as a small idea. Um, it's got little intricate parts to it um, to try and make it unique and different from any other coffee shop. But we'll see how it is. Um, and so far I started a newsletter. Um, our, it's going to launch um, at the end of June, um, so June 30th. So if you would like to sign up for that and just keep up to date with that, you can, uh, there's a link in the, in the description to, uh, to get to my website, which is alexpressa.com. Um, and yeah, just sign up for that and I'll be doing a bi-weekly newsletter trying to keep up to date on uh, ways that you guys can help out and um, that we can all kind of feel as a community as we go forward with this idea. And I'm just excited. I love coffee. I love community and I love I love the good culture of, of serving coffee to other people. So it's a fun idea. Um, so another big thing I want to do this year along with making more videos, um, just trying to get different ideas for different videos. Um, so there's um, a website called Skillshare and I'll put that link in the description as well, www.skillshare.com. It's an awesome website to do tutorials um, for a lot of different kinds of arts, different kinds of um, media, um, yeah, the digital media world. Um, so they got tutorials for photography, they got tutorials for video making, editing, um, photo editing, um, Photoshop, Illustrator, all the, the whole Adobe Creative Suite, um, they have uh, different tutorials for that. Um, so you just you sign up for a course or a class, and then you take it. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, the um, the free version um, you just sign up and you get a free trial. And then if you want to uh, do more classes, you just got to upgrade a bit, which is not that bad. Um, I believe it's 9.99 a month. Just uh, again, check the link in the description to uh, check it out. So I will be doing. I want to start a series called Skillshare Saturdays. So I want to do a, um, I want to run through a course, um, kind of class by class, and then I want to just put into practice what I just learned. So I'll be recording this uh, on screen capture, and uh, yeah, it'll just be fun, fun Saturday hangouts with your good old friend Alex. <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll be sweet. Um, looking forward to that. And then the other thing is, I kind of want to do some some gaming as well. I don't have any consoles, but. I do have my laptop, so there's this awesome new game coming out. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about it, all you indie game lovers, uh, there's this game called Crossing Souls. Uh, it was a Kickstarter campaign quite a while ago now, but it got fully funded and uh, it's almost done. I'm so excited about this game. It's like an indie, like retro, kind of like a um, Stranger Things meets like. 8-bit pixelation cool stuff <laughs> as far as I can describe it but if you guys didn't know about it here's a short clip of the trailer some discoveries are too powerful to be shared for attic presents crossing souls a band of friends who uncover a mysterious stone with a unique power and set out on an adventure that will pull them between life and and death. So yeah, I'll leave in, I'll link in the description as well to that game and where you can go find it on Steam. But yeah, so I'm excited about that gameplay stuff. And it'll be with my sister Anna. So that'll be fun. We'll have some brosis gameplay going on, some commentary for y'all. Keep you entertained. I've been just working a lot on my Instagram feed and just trying to give you guys the best photography that I can so far. And it's been going well. I'm um, just been thankful that I've been able to own that equipment that I can go out on a day and beautiful gorgeous day and rainy day or whatever and just shoot some stuff um, so happy that I'm kind of advancing slowly but surely in my photography skills and so yeah Instagram feed has been looking better than ever and uh, I just hope to continue to work on that this year um, I got some some cool stuff on the way with regards to photography just some wedding um, wedding shots and um, other graduation shots, stuff like that. So that's coming along the way. All that is on my uh, Instagram page at uh, alex.pressa. Um, I'll leave a link in that as well as the um, portfolio on my website, um, alexpressa.com slash portfolio. 
um, or sorry, slash photos probably. Um, so yeah, so that's been sweet. Um, just trying to get a little bit uh, more sophisticated per se with my with my shots and, and the photos that I take. Um, yeah, just putting that up to my website, my portfolio, as long as, as well as with my design stuff, um, uh, which is also on my website portfolio. Um, and I've just recently been getting a couple more jobs here and there, uh, some branding stuff. Um, excited to do a collaboration with Oxygen Sound Studios. His name is Joseph Ellie. He's a sweet guy from Chicago, and just excited to uh, to kind of help him start up his brand uh, of filmmaking and just um, using that for the Lord. I'm so happy uh, just to be helping people like that, have that kind of mission and impact. So yeah, it's been my life recently. Um, I'm going to be making another video soon shortly about um, making some jean shorts. I got a, a few pair of old jeans that have uh, been kind of worn out and uh, ready to move on with them. but. I want to salvage them, use them still, so I'm going to be making jean shorts out of them, so that's pretty exciting. So a lot of things in store for the next few weeks, next few months. Um, still pretty busy, so I'll try to make it as efficient as I can. Last but not least, I have just a little clip of um, some of the groomsmen stuff we did today. It's very short, um, but just some memories uh, to keep um, for my best friend, one of my best friends, Brennan Anderson. Um, we did like a very cool impromptu song, uh, Jordan Schausenberger and Luke Dugard. Um, so wanted to put a little something together at the end to remember this. So take a look at this and I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.